Hey, if you're an overweight man that suffers from low testosterone or you want to reduce your cholesterol and blood sugar levels using a ketogenic diet, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we'll cover. So stick around. Learn your body, a science-based education. The study I'll be presenting for you investigated how a ketogenic diet could impact weight, testosterone, as well as a few health markers like cholesterol and triglycerides and blood sugar in overweight, middle-aged men. So if you fit that description, listen up, and this will all apply to you. The researchers of the study recruited 40 men, all overweight and middle-aged, and put them on a very low calorie ketogenic diet which consisted of only 600 to 800 calories, 44% of which was dietary fat focused on unsaturated fats and consisted of less than 30 grams of carbohydrates. Then they were put into a second phase wherein they consumed slightly more calories between 800 to 1000. Between the two phases, the study lasted 12 weeks. Now, there were additional phases, but the measures that we're interested in discussing are specific to these initial two phases. The researchers took measures of body weight, cholesterol, and everything else at the beginning of the 12 weeks and then after the 12 weeks on the ketogenic diet. Now, with such a restrictive ketogenic diet, what were the effects? Well, in weight loss, these men lost dramatic weight. 21 kilograms, but that may be partly due to how overweight they were, starting off at 112 kilograms on average. Still, no doubt this ketogenic diet would lead to significant loss in weight at any degree of obesity. In looking at the health markers, there was a significant reduction in blood sugar, as well as insulin, leading to reduction in insulin resistance. And all of these changes were incredibly significant, with over 50% reduction in insulin and four times improvement in insulin resistance. Interestingly, cholesterol levels were also reduced, if that was measured by total or by low-density lipoprotein cholesterol. However, high-density lipoprotein cholesterol did increase slightly the lowered overall cholesterol was also experienced in triglyceride levels, where triglycerides almost halved in the ketogenic diet. So dramatic weight loss, reduced blood cholesterol, sugar, and triglycerides, but were there effects in testosterone? Well, yes, there were. There was an overall increase in total testosterone. Unfortunately, we can't say if this translated to increased free testosterone or other bioavailable testosterone, yet total did manage to bump up. All right, we have the results, but why did the results end up the way that they were? And what conclusions can we make based off of this data here? On the weight loss front, there were several possible explanations, according to the researchers. First, the mere fact that the diet was so restrictive, energetically speaking. However, beyond that, the diet may have been better tolerated because of the onset of ketosis, meaning the liver was pumping out more ketones, which interact with the brain, reducing hunger. Now, the severe weight loss, but also the possible makeup of the diet, like being high in unsaturated fats, may have contributed to the reductions in cholesterol and triglycerides. This may also be true for the reduced blood sugar, but likely the supremely low carbohydrate intake was the primary driver of a lowered blood sugar and insulin levels in the body. This, of course, paired with the weight loss. However, although the mechanism isn't completely theorized out by the researchers here, they do mention that this ketogenic diet did increase testosterone, which likely happened due to an increase in luteinizing hormone released from the pituitary. Luteinizing hormone is the hormone that interacts with the testes, specifically the Leydig cells of the testes, to stimulate the production of testosterone. Now, this increased activity in the Leydig cells may also translate to increased vitamin D, as the Leydig cells have high levels of vitamin D activating enzymes. These enzymes take a relatively inactive form of vitamin D molecule and activate it to make it more effective in the body. Now, this might be important for more than just testosterone because vitamin D may lead to greater testosterone production as vitamin D can stimulate the gene expression for testosterone. However, it is also implicated in insulin sensitivity and blood sugar regulation, both of which improved with the ketogenic diet. Interestingly, it is believed that vitamin D levels tend to be lower in overweight individuals due to poor diet, but also increased volume of the body, fluids of the body that end up diluting 
diluting the vitamin D, as well as lower exposure to the sun and lower skin synthesis. Yet, with the ketogenic diet, there was a noticeable increase in vitamin D. So this could at least partly revolve around the changes in vitamin D levels affecting testosterone, but also blood sugar and insulin levels. So overall, what does this mean for you? Well, this all means that a very low calorie ketogenic diet focused on mostly unsaturated fats can help you lose substantial weight with reduced hunger while also reducing your cholesterol levels, triglycerides, and blood sugar. It can also improve your insulin sensitivity, which may be mediated by increased vitamin D, which may also lead to increased testosterone. All of this most certainly if you are overweight, middle-aged, and a man. But assuming you're unconvinced or you aren't an overweight man, then check out the attached content and find out what fits for you. Or check out the final verdict in a comprehensive video pulling together many studies for your convenience. And with that, I'll hope to speak with you then. Bye.